Oh, the gaming industry. Did you know that in 2023, the gaming industry made over $180 billion? To put that into perspective, that's 900 million soldier game consoles. I feel like most people probably have like a love-hate relationship with the gaming industry, especially as of recently. I mean, since 2020, we've had some amazing highs in the industry. I mean, Baldur's Gate 3, Elden Ring, Fast and Furious Crossroads. I don't have friends. I got family. Wait, no, not that one. But I feel like we've also hit some pretty abysmal lows. <laughs> I get it. Video games are expensive to produce, and for this reason, they have to be flipped fairly quickly to maximize profits. But who looked at this and said, seems good enough to me? The amount of video games that have been released in a broken and buggy state in the last 10 years is crazy to me. The truth is that the people who invest money into the production of these AAA games don't care if they are fun or even a good product. There is no sense of pride in the work that they put out. They are just in it to make a quick buck. In the gaming industry, we are all just simply cows that they will continue to milk until they can't anymore, to which then they will just simply replace us. But not all is bad in the gaming industry, as Killer Clowns from Outer Space the video game is coming to save us. No, I'm just kidding, but I will definitely be playing that game when it comes out. Due to the crap show recently that has been AAA gaming, indie game developers are starting to get much more love. A prime example being the success story that is Pal World. This game took the world by storm. It broke the Xbox Cloud Gaming record for highest traffic day one release from a third party and broke Steam's concurrent player record. I think a lot of the success can be correlated to the fact that they not only gave the players what they wanted out of a Pokemon-esque game, but they cared about the product they released. I don't think I'm alone when I say I have gained major respect for indie game developers. With all this being said, the gaming industry is currently in a weird place but I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing for gamers. Anyways, I'm going to go start my 800th playthrough of Dead Rising 2. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know what your thoughts are on the current gaming industry in the comments section below.